All across planet internet, people are turning chips into a construction material. But is completing a chip circle really possible? Basically, you just have to keep balancing, I think. This is Ontario's Furious Pete taking up the challenge. Okay, maybe not. They say patience is a virtue, but not if you're Furious Pete. If at first you don't succeed, change flavors. I've got sour cream and onion this time. Will the sour cream chips enable Pete to become Lord of the Ring? I think I did it. I think I did it. And how is Pete going full circle? In order to provide enough structural support to the top of the ring, he has built two very large bases called cantilevers. As he's building the cantilevers, he puts one chip down, but then he needs another chip on top to hold it so it doesn't flip off. And then if he wants to add another chip outside of that, he needs to add more chips back here. By building both cantilevers simultaneously, he builds a very thick and solid base. And then at a certain point, instead of his cantilevers going out, they start to go in. And he needs to make sure those are balanced as he works his way to the middle. It's a subtle balance between the number of chips used and where they're placed on the ring that creates the perfect structure. <laughs> End of show.